Joining us now, meteorologist Ryan Morse with uh, more on what we can expect on Wednesday. Ryan. Yeah, we're still going to be at least warm in parts of it, but not as warm as what we've seen the last couple days. We're warm now, and that's going to be the case for tonight as we look at the temperatures statewide. Still hanging on to some 80s in some parts. South Bend at 82 degrees, Kokomo at 80. The wind has subsided a little bit. We saw sustained winds at about 15 to 20 miles an hour, now sitting around 10 miles an hour. Had some clouds move in through the last couple hours. Again, wind at the airport in Indianapolis sustained at the south at 10 miles an hour with only gusts to 15. The last five days, so for today in Indy, got to 88 degrees. We fell short of 90 thanks to some clouds late in the day that kind of prevented those temperatures from climbing. Pretty similar to yesterday, we got to 87. Now, days in the 90s. We've yet to have one this year. The streak continues. On average, we get about 20 during the year. Last year, we had 17, so we're still zero in that category. Humidity tracker through the next couple days. It was humid for today with dew points in the 60s. That will be the case for parts of tomorrow, but that drops off late Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We'll see those dew points start to go back into the pleasant category. Now, storm tracker across the Midwest. Here's our storm system. Cold front sweeping through Illinois. Showers and storms will be firing up along this with clouds just ahead of it. Now, the storm risk as we look across the state, this is just for tonight, primarily in the early morning hours. A one out of five chance of severe weather, so not a huge worry for northwestern sections of the state. And as we time this out on future casts, see those showers and storms start to get into the state through the early morning hours, clouds out ahead of it. Now, how far that cloud deck goes is really going to determine our weather for the afternoon, especially in southeastern sections of the state. So as we get through the morning, some showers and storms get close to Indianapolis as we get to noon. It's not an all-day type of rain, more on and off situation with another wave coming in the afternoon as showers and storms develop with some of that sunshine. Now, as we get into Thursday, still some showers lingering in the morning, but the back half of Thursday looking much better. So tomorrow's forecast, I think will remain dry most of us in the morning. Could see an isolated shower, especially north and west of Indianapolis. But the main rain chances, I think, will come in the afternoon. Storm risk for tomorrow, one out of five chances of severe weather. We'll see if that two out of five gets pushed into our area, depending on how much sunshine we get. Peanut Brothers heating and cooling, eight-day forecast. Watching that rain chance for tomorrow into parts of Thursday. Then we start to dry out. Humidity takes a drop. And our temperatures will be sitting in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees as we head into the weekend. More rain chances and an unsettled weather pattern as we head into portions of next week. Ryan, thank you. Back on